Howdy, folks. Great to see you today, Brody. Thank you for being here. Um, today's a great day because we are starting a new journey within our journey of Pokemon Emerald. Um, I wanted to play through the whole story, and I am not much of a competitive battler. However, I do love Emerald's Battle Frontier. I love it so much. What's up, Mom? Good to see you. Um, and I wanted to kind of go through the process of building a team for the Emerald Battle Frontier, and I want to go through it. Oh, I cook with the new points. Thanks, Brody. I tried to think of some for you. Um, but uh, so now, really what we need to do is we need to... There's that contest hall that was so important for... Uh, getting melodic, we need to go all the way down here to the harbor. We've been to the Slateport Harbor, um, but here we are in the Lily Cove Harbor, and we actually need to get on the boat um, because Scott is going to talk to us here. And Scott has is that dude in sunglasses that's been just kind of like following us around, and here he is. He says, well, hi, hi, SCG. Something's come up, so I have to disembark, but I'm glad to see you. Congratulations as a league champion. There's a place I'd like to invite someone like you. It's the Battle Frontier. So Scott is like the Battle Frontier dude, and he's just been scouting strong trainers for his super awesome post-game battle island. It's amazing. I love this place. Um, all right. So... Um, we have, like, one ride on the SS title here, um, and then the next time we get on, we can go to the Battle Frontier. This is pretty just, like, chill, um, the SS title. It's really just kind of, like, doing some battles, um, and doing some random stuff. Um, yes, we be battling. This is gonna be the battle series. And I guess I'll kind of say... Right off the bat, well, I'll do my first point. Um, when we are on the SS title here, we're not, like, going anywhere like we are in, like, Kanto or in Crystal. We're not, like, doing any crazy, um, like, big party like the SS Anne in Yellow. This is just kind of like a really chill fairy. Uh, draw Ziggy. So let's see. I have my pencil here. I'm gonna do my best. Um, he's kind of got his his eyes here. For those that don't know what I'm doing, I just added some new kind of like point rewards for my channel. Oh, this this kind of looks this kind of looks good. <laughs> His body is kind of big. Oh, that's terrible, actually. Um, what does his tail look like? Okay, I'm trying to do this from memory. So, for my points, I just added a few rewards. And here, if you you can redeem some points, and I will draw any Pokemon from memory. I can't look it up, so. Okay, that's got to be spiked here. There we go. All right, so I drew Ziggy. What do we think here, gang? Does that look like Ziggy? <laughs> I think that's not that's not too bad. I like that. Beautiful Ziggy, 10 out of 10. Perfect. Um, so yeah, if you want me to draw any Pokemon, I'll try. It's not like I'm an artist or anything. It's just a fun exercise. Um... Let's see. So we should be knocking out these love discs. It doesn't really matter if we fight these trainers or not. I am just trying to get a little bit of money. Um, because as we make our way through here, um, we can... Uh, we can get some money that we need for something else that we are definitely going to need for the Battle Frontier. Um, and like I said, there's just kind of like some chill cabins. I don't, I don't really even remember what's on the SS title. Is this my cabin? Yes! Here we can rest and heal our squad. And I think this is the same music as, yeah, this is the Mr. Briny 
music. Do, 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 do. Is there anything in here? Leftovers? That would have been great. Um, and it's not a huge deal, and I think there are some rich boys in here. Yeah, so we can get some nice money from them. Um, it's not a huge deal that we are not training our uh, Battle Frontier specific team um, on these battles because when we do that, we're actually going to have to train them against like specific Pokemon. It's very particular to stuff that we're going to be doing. Um, let's see. I will let you name a Pokemon on this team, Brody. You are absolutely correct. That is no problem. Also, hey, Machine Angels, how are you? Thanks for stopping in. Sorry, I missed you there for a second. Appreciate it. Um, and yeah, this is another another rich fellow. And I just like James. That's why I'm using James. James is my homeboy. Oh, there's that lax incense working. Perfect. Um, and there's the static. So, I guess I should kind of outline the plan a little bit while we're making our way through this. Um, we'll do Piccolo. Use Dig. Um, so, we are going to be training our Battle Frontier squad to level 50. Um, ooh, Roar. Oh, fun. Lovely. And, oh, that's interesting that we somehow outspeed. Um, and we are going to try to go for all of the silver symbols. Now, we could try to go for all the gold symbols, but I really like to think that I don't hate myself completely. <laughs> and that would just take so long. And I have done all of the silver symbols before. It's really tough. Um, oh, is this guy sick? Uh, I, I didn't snatch it from someone. I did no such thing. I'm starting to think this guy did snatch it from someone. Um, let's see. Oh! Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Brody. <laughs> I probably... Oh! Look who it is! It's our friend, Mr. Briny! They made him honorary captain of the SS title, Captain Briny. Oh, that is so delightful. And of course we have his friend Pico over here. Oh, so lovely. Um, can we fight you? Ah, oh, we can! Child, did you knock on the door? No. Ah, Zangoose, lovely. Perfect! Ron is a great foil to Zangoose. Yes, two slashes will do the trick. Or two strengths, rather. And as you can see, we are getting some good money. Ooh, who's the better Wingle, Cloud or Pico? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like you're looking for Cloud. I mean, Pico's a great Wingle. I think they're both lovely. I really do think they're both great. But we'll say we'll say Cloud, just because you're my you're my boy, Brody. Oh, nine thousand. Poke Yen. We are just smoking these fools in here. Um, and yeah, after the Pokemon League, yeah, like this person has a little 22 skitty. Are you kidding me? Um, but I kind of want to go through the SS title just to kind of show you what the deal is here. Because um, again, I don't even really remember. I think there's just kind of like a casual set of battles that you can just make your way through. Um, yeah, all these skitties. This one's at level 12. I don't know why they did that in this game. I feel like there are a few trainers that just kind of have Pokemon, like a lot of Pokemon of various levels for whatever reason. Ah, good choice, good choice. Yes, you're correct. Uh, all right, that'll do it. Lovely, that gets around to level 50. Hooray. Oh, Metal Sound. He does not use special attacks, so we're not going to teach Metal Sound. And Ron is going to get pretty much retired. Really, um... As we get into our Battle Frontier arc of our journey, our uh, main playthrough squad is going to get basically retired. Um, and we're going to have a whole new squad. Um, and for those of you that don't know, 
when you do the battle frontier, you can only use teams of three. Um, there we go. So we are looking for three Pokemon that have really good synergy together and that are obviously really good in general. And I have our squad picked out already. Um, and I'm excited to show it to you here. Um, but first we gotta get to the Battle Frontier, and this is the worst possible matchup against a Tentacruel, so let's go into something else. Oh, uh, James would be great. We'll just do Piccolo. I feel like a dig could knock this out in one shot. <laughs> Bro got the Johto treatment. <laughs> um, they're not quite... Tentacruel is such a sneaky good Pokemon. Like, uh, Wallace's is wonderful. Ah. No, that's all right. So Harry's at level 50 now. I'm a choke. I'll let Blaine get this. Ah. And Blaine is actually going to be a very important member. And, uh, there was a reason that I made sure we caught a male Swablu. And you will find out later. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, I think here on the SS title, we just have some of these fellas here in the boiler room, it seems, or kind of like the storage area. And there's a leftovers. That's going to come in great handy in the Battle Frontier. Heals you up a little bit every turn. So I'm very glad that we explored the SS title because I forgot that that was there. That is lovely. Um, that is obviously one of the better items that you're going to find um, in this game. Oh, perfect. Hopefully Harry can sweep this fool unless he's got a water type. Oh, and we worked so hard to get Harry. And now he's going to retire. I mean, he's going to really earn his retirement, you know. This squad had a great run. I've really enjoyed using them. And plus, literally just a little thing. Just that little photo that they took after winning the Pokemon League when you see them all together. That was just, like, mm, delightful. They're a great-looking squad is this... Uh, team that we've built for Emerald. Okay, there's nothing there. Uh, okay, so now, that's really all there is to the SS title. Just a pretty chill little spot. Fights and battles, pick up a leftovers. Um, oh yes, we gotta rest up in our cabin. And then we'll be able to get off the SS title. There we go. Made land and slate port. Alright, let's talk to this fella. All right, so now um, I'm gonna save here because I have anxiety, but, perfect. Now we can take the ferry. Our only option was Slateport City before, but now we can take the ferry to the Battle Frontier. And you'll just instantly get there. You won't even get on the SS title, at least I'm pretty positive. That's correct, listen to this music. Mm. Doesn't that just sound like the pinnacle of trainerdom? Come on. Battle Frontier is delightful. So now we're going to walk in here. And she is going to let us know the deal about the Battle Frontier. The front lines of Pokemon Battling. Welcome to Battle Frontier. Ah, uh, yes. She'll give us the Frontier Pass, which is super cool. I'll show you that. I'll show that to you in a, in a second. Um... Ah, uh, yes. So now you, we get this, like, question mark, question mark, question mark, and then all the workers are just like, oh, Scott, you are such a big shot here. And meanwhile, we just thought he was some creeper. But he's a, he's a, the big wig of the Battle Frontier. Uh, okay, great. So now... Again, this is not something that we have to do. The Battle Frontier is purely post-game. It's very optional. Um, oh yes, so we can talk to her about all of the different um, facilities in the Battle Frontier, and I'll show these all to you. 
but they have the Battle Tower, the Battle Dome, the Battle Palace, the Battle Arena, the Battle Factory, the Battle Pike, and the Battle Pyramid. These are just some other things. Exchange Service and Ranking Hall. Um, so, do we talk to these fellows? I don't remember. Ah. No, that's okay. So, let me show you this. Um, so, we used to have our old trainer card. But now we have our new one, our new Frontier Pass. This shows all the symbols that we've earned. Um, we can like record a battle that we have here, which is super cool if we have a really cool one. Our original trainer card is down here that you can still look at that. Um, these are our battle points. We don't have any yet. And this is kind of like the map. Um, like up there is the battle tower and you can see it kind of highlights each one, the dome, the palace, the arena, factory, pike, pyramid. Um, all super different, all super cool. I cannot wait to get into this. Um, I have been wanting to get into this for a while. Ah, so great. Okay. So over here, ish, there we go. Here we, hype, that's right, Brody. Um, we have the Pokemon Center, so, um, what are we gonna do first? There's so much to do! So much time and so little to do! Wait a minute, strike that. Reverse it. It's from Willy Wonka. Um, okay, have we saved the game? I'm going to. Alright, so I'll show you a little bit. I'm gonna show you around here before we really get started. Um because this is a big kind of like theme park type place. This is the Battle Factory. And here you actually fight with rental Pokemon, which is very interesting. Um, and yeah, I'll just give you a, a little blurb on each spot um, as we go along. Here is the Battle Dome, one of my favorites. It's kind of like a tournament style uh, battle facility. Um, up here, we have the Battle Tower, which is enormous, <laughs> as you can see. Um, this was in Crystal. We didn't do it, though. Um, it's kind of like a really regular, like, you go up each floor and you do some battles. Um, over here... Yes. This is the Battle Pike, as you can see, the Surviper thing. Oh, this is so cool. I love the Battle Pike. Um, it's kind of like this choose your own adventure kind of like weird um thing where you like random things can happen to you it's it's really interesting um over here we have the battle arena which you have to try to win your battles in like three turns or less basically or you will be judged on like various things um which is interesting um over here we have the battle palace and this is a place where you, like, let your Pokemon battle for you, basically. Um, and I think they do things based on their nature. So you don't really even tell them what to do. Like, your own Pokemon will pick the, the moves, which is insane and amazing. And then, yes, this is the last one. We have the Battle Pyramid. And this is, is like, a, like a maze, like, like dark... Each floor is dark, and it's like a maze, and you have to work your way through each floor um, and each maze to work your way to the top of the pyramid. Um, that one and the battle pike are kind of similar to each other in that way. Um, but one thing I want to point out is over here. Um, let me... Okay, I've got Blaine. That's fine. If we look over here... Hold on, what is this lady? Ah, yes. So, as I was saying, here... We have a pseudo Wudo! Oh, I love that there's a pseudo Wudo here. It makes me so happy. Um, and it's how you get it in Generation 3, basically. And it's just tucked back here in the edge of the Battle Frontier. And it's actually uh, sitting in the way of another cool area I'm going to show you. So here it's just going to wiggle. There we go. And. Um, we can use our Whalmer Pail, much like we would use the Squirt Bottle in Generation 2. And that is going to cause Pseudo Wudo to attack us, much like the Generation 2 games. There we go. Um, name Pseudo Wudo Treeby, I love it. 
It's an amazing name for a pseudo wudu. I also love this sprite. He's just like, oh, oh, love it. One of my favorite Pokemon, honestly. What's up, JJ? Thank you for being here. Um, all right. So I might end up paralyzing him, but if not, I'll just make sure I put him to sleep. Um, obviously, that's going to hurt a little bit, but that's not a huge deal. Been a minute, but you're back. Hey, I really appreciate it. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Um, ba -da -da. We're just, we are in the post-game area. We are here in the battle frontier. It's really awesome. Uh, Flail's going to do some damage because he is low on health, but not too bad. All right, come on. Let's try to get you to sleep so we can catch you. There we go. I, with any luck, this is going to be nowhere near as difficult as catching the Reggies. That was brutal. Um, but I am so happy that we were able to catch all three Reggies um, in one stream. That was so cool. Um, oh, the ad was playing. I'm sorry. Um, what I was saying, there's Pseudo Wudo, lovely. Um, I was saying we're here in the Battle Frontier. We're in the post game area. I'm really excited. We have our Pseudo Wudo, one of my favorites. It mimics a tree to avoid being attacked by enemies, but since its four legs remain green throughout the year, it is easily identified as a fake in the winter. How about that? Um, yes, Tree Bee, got you. Let's do this. Tree Bee. A lovely name for a pseudo udo. Perfection. And like I said, um, the pseudo udo is actually in the way of something else that's really cool. Um, let me um, pop this repel. So we have this little waterfall. I don't need waterfall right now because I'm just going down it. But we go around this little secret water area. And once we get to the end here, we get to a secret cave. And this is called Artisan Cave. I don't know if there are any items around here, but... In Artisan Cave, the only Pokemon that you can find is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. It is also a another Johto Gen 2 Pokemon. Oh, there we go. Nice calcium. When I gotta run out my repel, there we go. So the Gen 2 Pokemon, one of my favorites ever that we will find here is, as you will see, Smeargle. Oh. And they call it Artisan Cave because Smeargle's a painter. He's a little artisan. And this one's actually at a perfect level um, because uh, the next level it will learn Sketch again. Because um, every level that ends in one, Smeargle learns Sketch. And, oh, I guess it's gonna. this one's going to know Dragon Breath. I kind of completely forgot that it was going to learn the move that I used against it, but that's fine. Um, let me put it to sleep. Lovely. Oh yeah, JJ, if you're, uh, name, name the Smeargle for us if you want to. Um, uh, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Smeargle is so bad, it's not good at all, um, but I do love it. Gandalf, love it. Perfect name for a little Smeargle boy. Um, there we go. Lovely. I definitely wanted to come in here and catch a Smeargle, because Smeargle's my boy. A Smeargle marshals territory using a fluid that leaks from the tip of its tail. About 5,000 different marks left by this Pokemon have been found. Oh, that's very cool. <laughs> Banger name. Very nice, Brody. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there is nothing... I don't think I know any other characters in media that are called Gandalf. I can't think of any off the top of my head. So that's lovely. Smeargle's great. Um, and again, we're probably not going to use them, but it's just fun to have them, fun to catch them. That is something that I do all the time. Um, when I play through these games, I have like no intention of, I guess there's another uh, floor to Artisan Cave here. Um, maybe there's higher level Smeargle up here. Yeah, there are. Um, but uh, whenever I'm playing through these games, I have like no intention of using some of the Pokemon that I catch. But if I just run into a Pokemon that I love, like a Smeargle or like a Pseudo Wudo, I'm just gonna catch it, baby. Just gonna catch it. Ah, yes, and this just takes us to a different area of the Battle Frontier up here by the Battle Tower. Very cool. Um, 
<laughs> yes, it is a Lord of the Rings reference. Um, okay. So over here, I believe, I just saw the ranking hall. This is a spot where you can exchange your battle points for, like, items or to learn moves. As you can see, we have um, these different clerks here you can talk to. You can get, uh, like, a Snorlax doll for our secret base. Um, this woman's saying, um, what do you have for us here? Uh, yes, here's some items to raise your stats, and so on and so forth. As you can see, we have zero BP, but we will get a lot more as we go. Um, <laughs> you shall not pass. Absolutely correct. Um, okay. So, this is amazing. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm kind of looking at my little sheet of what I want to do. Um, oh yeah! So, uh, we hit 60 followers on Twitch, which is cool. That's part of my little goal sheet that I have down here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we have five more new subs to go, and 966 more bits to go to hit all of our goals. Um, so we'll see if we can do it. Uh, okay. So now, we can start trying to put our team together. Which I'm very, very excited about. Um, Alright. So this is... Oh, hold on. <laughs> Your reaction to this game, let me see. Here we... Hype! That's right, Brady. <laughs> Hype! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, okay. We're gonna heal the squad. I don't really know why I healed the squad. But that's okay. So here, what nature are we looking for? So I'm gonna de deposit one of our Pokemon. Who's it gonna be? We will deposit Guzzle for now. And that's fine. We love Guzzle. All right. So now, the first team member that we are looking for for our Battle Frontier team is Beldum. Um, because we are going to train a Metagross. Um, that is the ace Pokemon of Steven Stone, who is the champion of Ruby and Sapphire, but not this game. And I'm saving my game here because here he has a gift Beldum for you after you defeat the Pokemon League. And it's really, really great. And the reason I saved my game is because we are looking for a Beldum with a specific nature. And we are looking for either a lonely or an adamant nature. All right. Um, but I'm trying to figure out which one exactly we want. Um, and the reason that I say that is lonely or adamant will raise the attack power of our Beldum. And that will be very good for the type of moves that we are going to use with him. Um, Stevie, I love that. I love that. Um, that's gonna be great. Oh, also, I forget what this says here. It's a letter. To SCG. Oh, I've decided to do a little soul searching and train on the road. I don't plan to return home for some time. I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to take the Pokeball on the desk. Inside it is a Beldum, my favorite Pokemon. I'm counting on you. May our paths cross someday. Steven Stone. Oh, love that guy. I'm gonna save again. Um, so now we're gonna try to get our ideal Metagross. Um, I think I'm going to go for the Lonely Nature because we might use the we might use Psychic on him. I don't know. We'll see. So SCG, check the Pokeball. Contain the Pokemon Valda. So now what we need to do here is we want to give a nickname to Valda. Absolutely. Um, Stevie, one thing I might do is we are going to need to possibly soft reset a lot for our Beldum. So I might not name him every time and then go to like the name person and just name him after that, just to save us some time. Relaxed nature. Okay. So we gonna close for now. So yeah, um, as we put together our team, 
we're going to be catching a lot of different Pokemon. We're going to be trying to um, get the correct natures for the Pokemon that we want. So let's see what we got here again. Bold nature. All right. You know what? I was thinking, I was trying to choose between lonely or adamant. I think if we get lonely or adamant, that would be good. And that'll kind of help me because I don't want to be paralyzed by trying to find the absolute perfect Beldum that the RNG gods might give to us. Um, let's see. Naive. So we are looking for lonely or adamant because either one of those will raise Beldum's attack power. Um, <laughs> your last name is Gutter. Let's see. All right. Perfect. All right, let's see. Naughty. I don't remember what all of these natures do. I just remember when I was um, kind of researching what I wanted to do for my Battle Frontier team. Um, there's like a chart that you can find pretty easily online that like tells you exactly what um, the natures do. And some people have this memorized. I am not one of those people. And there's a lax nature. I know what a couple of them are. Um, so, again, specifically because I researched it. Um, but uh, like modest, for example, raises special attack. I know. Um, and we are probably looking for a lonely nature on another one of our Pokemon as well. Um, yes, we'll take the Pokeball. Let's see. What you got, buddy? A quirky nature. We have gotten different ones every time, so my hope is that we will eventually land on the nature that we need. And, again, there are some people that might be a little bit more hardcore than me, um, that might look for, like, perfect stats to go with the perfect nature and just kind of spend, like, an entire day resetting. Um, but I'm not that hardcore. <laughs> Again, I kind of... We kind of keep it casual here, you know. Because um, I want to try to do some of the more difficult, uh, difficult stuff for you guys. Um, but... Again, I try not to do things that are, like, prohibitively difficult. Because at the end of the day, I want to encourage people to play these games. There's that modest nature that I was talking about. Um, and I would love to encourage, I mean, at even just one person to pick up these old games and... Um, experience them and love them like I do. All right. Impish nature. Are you... What is that from the office? Are you good or impish? I don't remember. It was like Dwight had like a special Santa Claus type character. Um, honorable or impish, thank you, JJ. <laughs> um, so one thing I read is that if you are soft resetting for a static Pokemon like this, um, you don't wanna like pick it up at the exact same time because the RNG is still like, it's like cycling through, but it always starts from the same point. I don't know how true that is, but that is something that I read. Um, a great show, JJ. Absolutely great show. Um, careful nature. Again, we are looking for modest. Not modest. <laughs> We're going to look for modest later, but not on Beldum. Um, we are looking for lonely or adamant. I'll just pick it up here. Lonely or adamant? Brave! I don't know if we've seen Brave yet or not. 
I have seen the movie Brave from Pixar, um, which I find to be a vastly overrated movie. Sorry if that's a hot take for any of you. Brave is not my favorite Pixar movie. Um, let's see. So let's snag belt him once again. My favorite Pixar movie? Rash Nature. <laughs> my favorite Pixar movie, you might ask? <laughs> um, pretty much any of the Toy Stories, I think, are my favorites. Um, also, love Monsters, Inc., love Finding Nemo, a lot of the classic ones. Oh, what's my favorite Pixar movie? Thank you for asking. Um, probably any of the Toy Stories. Um, Toy Story 4 is definitely my least favorite. Um, but specifically Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 3 are just peak, baby. Um, let's see. What we got? Lonely Nature! There we go! That'll work for me. All right. So I guess this gives us a little versatility if we still want to use that special attack a little bit. So there's Takedown. And this is funny. Takedown is the only move that Beldum learns. Beldum is pretty terrible when you first get it. It's basically just like a little arm with an eye on it. It's a very weird Pokemon, but it does evolve into a freaking beast, baby. So great. Um, so there's our Beldum. Lovely! Okay, so I will name him Stevie. Um, anybody off the top of their head remember where the naming person is in this game? Is it, is it in Lily Cove? Or is that the move deleter? Um, let's see, name Raider. Slateport City, hello. Let's head on down. Above the trainer's fan club. Ah, lovely. Oh, also, I just want to point out, these are called battle tents. We haven't really done anything with these. It's like a competitive battling thing that you can do before the Battle Frontier, and as you can see, it has the same logo on it, um, which is really neat. It's kind of like a little dry run that you can do um, on competitive battling before you actually go to the Battle Frontier in the post-game. The only bad thing is a lot of them eliminated contest halls that, uh, are there in Ruby and Sapphire, which is kind of, you know, yin-yang. Um, let's see. So let's go to the Name Raider's house. I gotta name our Beldum Stevie. Sorry, I was soft. Soft resetting there. And really, all this person does, they're called the Name Raider, but really all they do is change your Pokemon's nickname. Um, which in later games, they don't make it where you have to see a specific person to change your Pokemon's nickname. You can just do it whenever you want, which I think makes a lot more sense. <laughs> but here we are. We're in the old games, and flaws and all, I love them. All right, so we got Stevie. Stevie the Beldum. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, okay, so we can probably start catching some of our other Pokemon. Ooh, but there is one thing that we can do first. Excuse me, sorry, I can't walk into the Pokemon Center. So here, I'm going to walk into the Slateport um, Mart here, and I'm going to buy a Harbor Mail. Why would I buy a Harbor Mail, you might ask? Well, I'm going to show you. So now that we have this harbor mail, we can fly up here to Mauville City. And there is someone here that is specifically looking for a harbor mail. I believe she's in here. Yes. And when you give her a harbor mail, it'd be easy to bike to Slateport and she wants to buy a harbor mail. Um, so you come in here and she will trade you for a coin case. And we need this coin case because we have to buy a whole bunch of coins to, to buy a very specific PM for our Battle Frontier squad. Specifically, we're looking for Flamethrower. One of the best moves in the game. And this is the only way that you can get it in this game. Other than Pokemon that just learn it, like our buddy Guzzle. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, this is delightful. I love this. Um, so, <laughs> okay, everybody, headphones wearers, just uh, be ready. Um, Brody has just cast in some of his channel points to hear my perfect chicken noise. Um, so, get ready. Here it comes. Are we ready? <clears throat> perfect chicken noise. There you have it. Anyway, <laughs> we need to buy some coins. Uh, this is where we can exchange them for prizes. And there's all the TMs that we're looking for. Um, so let's buy some coins. Now, this is something that they eliminated in later Pokemon games because like the game corner like promotes gambling, um, which I get, so to speak. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, they don't have these anymore in the new Pokemon games. And here you can gamble to get more coins, but it's far easier to just buy them. The only problem is it costs a lot, and I mean a lot of money. So we might need to um, fight some trainers before we can fully buy all we need. So again, TM, I believe TM35 is flamethrower. Yes, TM35 is flamethrower. Um, so we need, I forgot to look. We need 4,000 coins. So right now we have 500, so we gotta buy several more of those 500 uh, coin bundles. Um, <laughs> kill kid, get money. Um, so I, are we gonna get there? I think we'll get there. Um, and no, I don't have a pet chicken, Brody. That was me, if you can believe it. Um, and don't worry, um, anybody who's worried about me uh, making chicken noises all the time, <laughs> you can only, you only get that once per stream. <laughs> I don't want to destroy everybody's ears every day. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have enough money to get our flamethrower TM. Not a lot. Not by a lot, but we'll have enough. Um, perfect. And then... Hey, what's up, Happy Math? Thanks for being here. Um, we are working on putting together our Battle Frontier squad, which is super, super cool. Um, the, the loudness was worth it. Thank you. Um, so, so far, we have Stevie the Beldum, um, and this is our first member. And now we are buying the Flamethrower TM here from the Game Corner. Uh, make sure I hit the correct one. Yes. And we can buy another Thunderbolt and another Ice Beam. Luckily, you can actually get those in the game. Um, there's a, another Psychic here as well. But the only place you can get Flamethrower TM is here in the game corner. Um, let's see. So that is lovely. Um, what is our best course of action here? I think it's going to be a good rod. Um, yes, that might give us a little more flexibility. Sorry, guys, I'm looking at my looking at my cheat sheet once again. Um, so here, I mean, it might be different in that game. All right, so what I'm going to do, um, put Ziggy on the Battle Tower team. <laughs> Brody, try and win. I will have Ziggy, I'll, I'll keep Ziggy in the party. I'll, I'll do that. Ziggy can be in the party for sure. Um, let's see. I will get our, our gal. I'm pretty sure Ziggy knows strength, so we can get rid of Ron, the Agron for now. Oh, Ron, bless you. I might have to get some of these items off of them later, but uh, we'll worry about that at another, t at another time. Ziggy is the seventh member. Ziggy's like the twelfth man on a football team. Ziggy's like, like the sixth man on a basketball team. Or the sixth woman, I should say. Um, lovely. 
so for our party, Ziggy does not know strength. That's okay, I'll teach Ziggy strength. What do you know, Ziggy? Oh, you still have mud sport, that's funny. Um, but, uh, Ziggy evolved, when did Ziggy evolve? I think Ziggy evolved in the, in Victory Road. Um, because we were switch training her just a little bit um, to get those last couple levels. Um, there we go, I'll teach her strength to replace Agron. Um, to get those last couple levels just so she would evolve, which was funny. Um, perfection. So something else we're gonna need to do, I probably needed to go into the Pokemon Center there, but I'll just do it when we get here. Da -da -da -do, da -da -do, do -do. Okay, so something that I had done previously yeah, I guess you have. Yeah, we are champions now. We're starting on our Battle Frontier journey, which is great. We have our pass, but we haven't done anything yet. Um, we just started today. Um, I have a good rod, right? I should. Um, yes, I do, and we're going to register that. Because something that I have done previously... Oh, you were there for the Elite Four. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Happy. Sometimes I lose track. Um, but something I've done before is I've used Latios, um, as a member of our Battle Frontier squad, but that's just so hard to find and get correct. I didn't want to worry about it. But another Pokemon that does a lot of what that Pokemon does is Starmie. Starmie is going to be the second member of our Battle Frontier squad. It learns many, many great moves, fast, has good special attack, it's great. The only issue with Starmie is that we are going to need to find one that has both a good nature and the good ability that it can have. So we're probably going to have to catch a lot of Star <laughs> Um, Let's see. Um, ooh, actually what I wanted to do was box some of our squad here. Um, so that way I can check a lot of our star you quickly without having to go back to the PC. So let's... Oops, I'm actually going to deposit. We're going to deposit you. Oops. There you go. Um, all right, we'll leave Ziggy and Beldum. That's fine. Lovely. I'm also realizing that we might need a bet better Pokemon to help us catch the Staryu, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> um, oh, Brody, you had it all time stamped for him. Thank you. Um, okay, so now we fish. And that has been, man, we have been a fishing in this playthrough of Pokemon Emerald. We were looking for that special Whalmer. We were looking for that Feebas, of course. And now we are looking for our friend Staryu. Um, I actually forget what else you can catch with a good rod here. Obviously, you can catch Magikarp. Um, Ziggy's actually at a pretty decent level to where we can catch these Pokemon, I'm hoping. It might be Super Rod, though. Ah, okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be positive. Um. Here we go. Let's see what we can catch here. The good rod. Ah, it turns out you can only catch Staryu with the super rod, so I wasted two encounters. What are you gonna do? Oh well. Um, 
Okay, so the reason that we are catching a Starmie particularly is that that is just going to be really good for the Battle Frontier because it is really fast and has really good special attack. Specifically, the plan generally is to teach it Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Surf, and Psychic. All really good, very different, very, has a lot of utility special attacking moves. And the other two Pokemon on our team are going to be physical attackers primarily. Um, so Starmie is just going to have really good synergy and has access to a lot of good moves. Um, and as you can see here, our one Pokemon, we have Stevie. Um, yes, an all-rounder, that's right. This really is going to be Feebas 2.0. I'm actually, uh, it's actually hilarious. Um, and, uh, so yeah, Starmie is just a great Battle Frontier Pokemon. Um, one of the reasons I don't love, like, the competitive meta, so to speak, of Pokemon is that, to me, it really kind of limits the Pokemon that you can realistically use if you want to win. Um, like, I know a lot of VGC players, like, many of them, like, need to use, I know that one that's, one that's really good is Incineroar. And it's just like, if you don't use these crazy good Pokemon, you really just don't have, like, don't have a shot. Um, and that would bother me generally. Um, okay, one thing I decided that I'm gonna do is I am not gonna go there because that is nowhere. I am gonna grab Altaria just to make sure I have something to put the, uh, whatchamacallit, the star you to sleep and hopefully catch them easily. Um, and I also forgot that I need more balls as well. It is going to be Feebas Gate again. I actually love the idea of naming our Starmie uh, Feebas Jr. That is wonderful. Um, um, is this where I get my Pokeballs now? Let's hop in here. There we go. Buy some Ultra Balls. As many as we can buy with this amount of money. And I'll get some regular Pokeballs just for you, Brody. Even, even some Great Balls, my favorites. There you go, so that's most of our money. Ah, Harry, it could be Harry Jr. Do we, yes, I, I kind of like, do we like Feebas Jr. or Harry Jr.? Um, <laughs> I guess Staryu might not be a boy, but I'm fine with naming our girl Staryu Harry. It's fine. Um, all right, so here we go. Take three. Literally Feebas Jr., I like it. Okay, so we have two votes for Feebas Jr., I like that. Um... So let's do this, and let's try to catch some Staryu. Do 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 That was stupid. Um, Harriet, if it's a girl. Oh, that's funny. Um, Harry Jr., <laughs> they're gonna be friends. Uh, thanks for joining us, Cry. Um, so... Cry, I don't know if you've been lurking or not, but we're putting together our Battle Frontier team. And so far we have Beldum, which will eventually become a Metagross. Sorry, I'm just hyper-focused in here. There we go. Um, and the issue here is that we can run into many Whalmer. Um, oh my goodness, really? That is crazy. Um, so it looks to me here that the percentages of catching Whalemur versus Staryu, um, when we use our, our Super Rod here in Lily Cove City, there's only a 15% chance that we're going to hook a Staryu. And I knew this was a spot that you could catch them. I don't know if there's a better one. Let's see. Um, let's see. And there's another Whalmer. Ugh. Do da ba do da ba boo da ba boo da ba boo da 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 do da. Ah, Biggie. Ah, yes, Biggie the Whalmer. Wow, a true champion in our Reggie quest. That was so fun, catching all the Reggies last stream. 
I loved that. Really relying on the timer balls. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, I don't know if there's really a better spot um, to catch Staryu in this game. It looks like we're going to be in for a long... Oh, hello, Irina! Thank you for joining us today. How's it going? Um, we are trying to catch a very specific Staryu off the coast of Lily Cove City. It's probably going to take a while. Oh, what are the odds that we catch a Staryu before the stream ends? Uh, I gotta say, it's, uh, it's not in our favor because we need to catch... All right, who are my math people? Because we need to catch a Staryu on a Super Rod. And it is a 15% chance to even hook a Staryu on the Super Rod. And not only that, we need to find a Staryu with both a good nature and its good ability. Um... Um, no, not shiny hunting. We are battle frontier hunting, Arena. Um, oh, you're on your lunch hour at work. Amazing. Thanks for stopping in. That's really nice. Where are you work, Arena? Um, I say all the time that I'm very happy at the moment because I work in a school, so I'm off for the summer. You work sales for a tech company. Tech company, super solid. Um, that's wonderful. Do you work from home? That would be great. I wish I could work from home. Maybe someday. Um, but uh, so yeah, I guess the odds of finding our correct star you is not amazing. Um, it might take a while. I, I might do. I might do. Oh no, you're in a store. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess that's true, JJ. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. I suppose the thing about Staryu is... Um, and the thing that will raise its degree of difficulty. Because for Beldum, we were just looking for the nature. Um, but for Staryu, we're looking for the nature and we're looking for the ability... Staryu has two abilities. One is Illumination, um, which is not useful at all. Oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> um, one of its abilities is not useful whatsoever in battle. And the other ability is. So that is obviously the one that we want, but that also, you know... Here's a Staryu, baby! Um, that cuts our... Um, you know, cuts our chances of finding the correct Staryu in half. Um, so let's put you to sleep. Um, let's go! Yes! Um. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm losing track. Alright, come on. Just gotta hit some, gotta hit a sing, and then... I don't really know what Staryu's catch rate is. Oh my goodness, Altaria. I am going to kill you. This is insane. Have I missed six in a row? Seven? Five? There we go. My goodness gracious. Um, I'm hoping if I can just put it to sleep and toss an Ultra Ball, it should catch it pretty easily. Um, I don't really know what its catch rate is at this point. Do, do, do. A Net Ball would be good on a Staryu. A water Pokemon. Alright, great. So that'll be kind of the strat going forward. And folks, we will name Staryu either... Harry Jr. or Feebash Jr., but I am going to just wait until we find the correct one to save time. Um, it does kind of look like it's balancing on one leg and kind of like an ice cream cone. I see both of those things. It gathers with others in the night and makes its red core glow on and off with the twinkling stars. It can regenerate limbs if they're severed from its body. How cool. Um, okay. So, all right. Guys, if this is the star you that we need i will freaking run a marathon honestly um okay it's not <laughs> i was worried okay but this star you does have the ability that we want natural cure 
It can heal status conditions if we switch it out, which is very good. Our, our, our Altaria actually has the same ability. So we need that natural cure ability with the modest nature. And that's going to be it. That is going to be it. Um, I actually don't know what are the other natures um, that raise special at uh, special attack. Um, so the natures that increase special attack are modest, mild, quiet, and rash. So, um, this is at least a candidate. Like, if we, if I catch, like, a million star you and I'm just like, I just can't find one, this is actually a pretty decent one. This is a maybe usable one if we need to. <laughs> Adamant eliminate. <laughs> that would be the exact opposite of what we need. Uh, that's funny. Um, okay. So now, we star you hunting. And I guess I'll go ahead and say, um, the last Pokemon that we are looking for while we continue to hunt star you is Bagon. Um, and Bagon is very important because that is going to evolve into Salamence, which if you remember our battle with the Elite Four's Drake, his ace was a Salamence. And Salamence is actually really good. It's a good mixed attacker. That's probably what's going to get that Flamethrower TM that we just got. Um, and this entire endeavor is why I have been saving all of our good TMs. Because um, I feel like our run through the Pokemon League would have gone a lot better had I been teaching some of our Pokemon, some of our good TMs, but I was just saving them for this Battle Frontier squad, because a lot of them you only get one of in the run. Or it gets really hard to get more of them, like Thunderbolt and Psychic. <laughs> All right, so now, okay, hear my perfect chicken noise. Let's see. Um, here we go, are we ready? Those of you who have not who have not heard my perfect chicken noise, uh, prepare yourself, it might be loud. Here I go. <clears throat> there we go. There you have it. Uh, <laughs> Lovely. So maybe I didn't set it to once per stream, it might be twice per stream, we'll see. Do, 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 do. Magnificent. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you, folks. <laughs> All right, here's another star you. Oh, you like that one more? That one did have a little a little more juice on it, I feel. Um, Blaine Sings are killing me today. There we go. Um, all right. So let's see. Let's do an Ultra Bowl. <laughs> It is the perfect chicken noise. I do such a good chicken noise. Um, it really amazed a few of my students. Oh, wait, no, we're not going to nickname Star you right now. Um, I'll nickname them later. All right. Let's have a look at you. Your HP is a little different. Oh! Guys! Oh, it's modest, but it has Illuminate. Oh, dang it. That sucks. It is crazy that we got a modest nature oh, so quick, but man, that would have been so great. Um, because I would rather use the rash nature. Um, and the reason that we are looking for modest specifically um, is modest will raise your, whatchamacallit, raise your special attack, but decrease your regular attack. And the reason that's so good is that we are not using any regular attacks, any physical attacks on Starmie. Um, so that's basic, there's basically no drawback there. The Rash Nature would lowers our Staryu's special defense, um, which isn't like amazing, but again, if we catch a million Staryu and we just can't find the right one, that Rash one is at least generally usable. It might not be optimal, but it's usable. Um, lovely. Okay, so this is pretty good. Oh, my inspiration for the chicken noise. I actually don't remember. I think I had a friend 
that, ooh, this star you has a star piece. Ah, this is cool. When you catch a wild star you, it can just be holding, sorry, a star dust or a star piece, which is really cool. A nice little tidbit. Um, <laughs> petition to call the rash star you Fee Brash Jr. I mean, I don't mind that. If that's the one we use. Okay, so this one's no good. Um, so probably what I'll do now is I will catch like three um, and then I will check to see if any of them are good. Um, okay. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go a little longer in the stream today. This is lovely. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, but yeah, you were asking the inspiration behind the chicken noise. I think a f an old, like, elementary school friend of mine used to be able to do it, um, and then he taught me how to do it. At least I'm pretty sure that's the origin story of the chicken noise. Um, and I just never forgot, man. That's just how it is. Um, all right, I love how that's pretty automatic, though. Okay, so that's... Star is just going to the old PC for now. Um, I'm going to catch like three more while we're here, and then I'm going to check our PC to see if any of those are the one that we are looking for. Um, something else I could do here. I know a lot of you, um, or just a lot of people in general, really enjoy just this kind of like laid back, like shiny hunting type of content. Um, but one thing I might do with the star you hunt is similar to what I did with Chimeco. That was crazy looking for Chimeco on Mount Pyre. That took so long. Um, but there we go. I might do like a special YouTube episode off stream or something. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we do if it takes too terribly long. Um, but yeah, I was talking about the third Pokemon for our Battle Frontier squad. Um, Bagon. Bagon can only be found in a specific room in Meteor Falls. Uh, let's see. And that is where we're going to try to catch her, specifically a her, because we actually need to breed the Bagon to get a specific move that our Altaria has, which is Dragon Dance. Um, we want our Salamence to learn Dragon Dance. Um... Let's see, what are the stream timings on Saturday? Is it a fixed time? Um, I tend not to have fixed times just because my schedule can change a little bit. However, I do have like a very, I generally have a set schedule. Usually I will stream on Monday and Wednesday evenings um, between like seven and 8 p.m. generally. Um, and then on Saturday, I will usually stream, start my stream sometime between 2 and 3. Um, so this is a very uh, typical time I will stream on Saturday, yes, to answer your question. Um, oh yeah, you changed your color. It does look a, little more, a, bit more, uh, a bit more Silver Cave, huh? You're Silver Cave Brody. That's funny. Um, Alright, so we are looking for two more Staryu. I think we'll try to catch a couple more Staryu this stream. Uh, oops, nope. Do, 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 do. It is annoying to use the super rod. That was so great, catching Feebas, only needing to use the old rod. That was amazing. Um, yeah, the 15% encounter on the Staryu isn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. Oh, 7 p.m. is like 1 a.m. for you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, are you another uh, across the pond person? I know Brody is too. Um, do, 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 do. All right, so we're going to catch this star, you. Do, do. Yeah, where are you, Happy Math? Do, do. It's 9 p.m. for you now. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Mm 
There we go. This one will go to our PC as well. It was full, so he's transferred to box two. You live in Poland. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's 10 p.m. for you now. Yeah, you and Brody are our Europeans, our resident Europeans. Thank you for being here, guys. This is so cool. I really appreciate you stopping in all the time and having fun. Um, this is kind of one of those moments where uh, the internet can be a very nice thing where you can con connect with people across the globe. Da, do, da, da, do, da, da. But yes, Happy, um, to answer your question, it is a typical time for us to stream on Saturday, like between two and three. I used to do it a little earlier, but I feel like people enjoy this time, um, this time of day specifically. I know, Brody, you're usually you're usually a night owl um, in our streams during the week. Yeah, I would not be I would not be staying up till there we go. I really wanted that to hit. That's our last sing, so this is perfect timing to check our PC and replenish Blaine's sing um, PowerPoints. But you're also a young one, Brody. I'm an old man. I need my beauty sleep. Well, happy. I'm really, I'm, I'm really happy that you're here. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Um, all right. So we won't get a nickname to that star. You. I know. I look really good for 82, JJ. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. Honestly. Okay. So first, I got a heal. Lovely. Um, I'm like a hundred. I mean, hey, my legend will, will live on. Uh, okay, so we have just one star you over here. I'm gonna move star you to box all my star yous to box two. Okay. So, um, yes, I def. Oh, dude, I definitely get that. So let's check our box star use. Illuminate and <laughs> our perfect star you, the optimal star you, plus attack, minus special attack, illuminate ability. This is the ideal star you for the battle frontier. It's not. It's in fact the exact opposite of what we're looking for. That's so great. Brody did call it <laughs> the chosen one. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Maybe I should try to use this one. Uh, no, I don't want to. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Okay, illuminate with a hardy nature. Natural cure with a brave nature. What is brave? Brave, ah, brave raises attack minus speed. That's not very good. Um, so what I am going to do is something, let's see here. Um, hold on, Zaggy is going to be my marker. Um, or, I mean, Harry's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't know what I'm even talking about right now. But, Harry's gonna be our marker. And we are going to put any usable star use above Harry. And any non-usable star, uh, star use below Harry. Um, so I'll put these down here. And... <laughs> It's funny. This one I don't consider usable, but it's just hilarious that it's Adam and Illuminate. Um, is this our rash one? Yes, it is. So we will put you up here. And these two are not good, so you'll go down here. And this will be kind of like the sorting system. I guess I could release some of these star you, but I just hate releasing Pokemon. That's just... A weird thing that I don't enjoy. <laughs> um, okay. Huh? Team Ziggy, the new Ziggy. Do it for the meme. We'll see. That would be real. That is really funny. Um, let's see here. And then here's our other star, our Rash Natural Cure. Um, okay, great. So, um, we are... 
Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do some more star you fishing. Probably not today, but we'll definitely do some more star you fishing in general. Um, and uh, yeah, for today we're pro I'm probably actually gonna call the stream today. Um, but uh, so happy again sorry that you can't really make the weekly streams very often i guess i will just say they are always all on youtube anyway i always upload them there so if you ever want to catch up on anything you can always watch them there and i appreciate you being here live today um but yeah next episode we'll probably get into finding our star you again um at least for a while and finding our bag on um for the Battle Frontier. Um, oh, okay, great. I love that. Thanks, Happy. Um, but, uh, yeah. As far as today is concerned, I have loved this. Um, thank you for being here with me. Again, it's uh, the start of a glorious, wonderful journey. Um, <laughs> I will consider using the terrible star you. <laughs> Uh, oh, I love that happy. Uh, because I watch just like background video game stuff all the time. And that's if I can be that for anybody, that makes me happy. Thank you. But anyway, thanks again. Appreciate you all. I'll see you Monday um, with probably more uh, awesome, wonderful Star You related content. And until then, I appreciate you. Peace, kids.